Hi, this is Pat Moran from Bright Advisor. Really excited to be having another version from the desk of Pat Moran. Last week, we were in Topeka, Kansas at an IU All event, which is short for Index Universal Life. It was an immersion event that talked about a lot of things, especially potentially the tax situation that's going to be facing this country in potentially a short period of time. We ran into an old friend of ours, David McKnight, who's written several books, including The Power of Zero, which shows how Index Universal Life can be used as a real great tool in your portfolio to not only reduce risk, be able to create tax-free retirement income that you can't outlive. So I'm excited to share our interview with David. And more importantly, if you have any questions or we can help you, please reach out to brightadvisor.com. We look forward to speaking with you. So um, Pat Moran from Bright Advisor, great to see you again. Um, how's it been going? What's been going on with the whole tax message and IUL planning and uh, talk about some of the successes that you're having? Yeah, well, uh, you know, every year the national debt uh, gets bigger, so it's more and more on people's radar. So the reality of higher taxes is becoming more and more real for Americans. Uh, people are wondering how we're going to pay off $22 trillion of debt. Uh, and the reality is there's some experts that are coming out of there saying, hey, look, it's not really $22 trillion. If you uh, figure the, the present value of all of the promises that we've made for Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid, it's actually closer to $239 trillion. So the national debt is actually 10 times worse than what the government's telling us. And people are wondering, hey, if I have the lion's share of my, my retirement assets in 401ks and IRAs, uh, how is the government going to liquidate all that debt without uh, charging me more in tax? So if the bottom line is if you have money in IRA or 401k, it's like going into a business partnership with the IRS and every year they get to vote on what percentage of your profits they get to keep. So the question is, are there any strategies that can help people to mitigate that risk and, and pay the taxes today at historically low tax rates, get dollars shifted into Roth IRAs, and, and cash value life insurance like IULs. And really, we've just really hit our stride because if ever there were a perfect time in the history of our country to be talking about this stuff, it's while tax rates are historically low. Why? Because the cost of getting into a tax-free vehicle like an IUL is you gotta be willing to pay a tax. And why not pay taxes at historically low tax rates? And we finally know that, um, you know, people used to say, hey, Dave, winter tax rates are going to go up. And I'd say, hey, who knows, maybe 10 years from now. Well, guess what? We now know the year and the day right. when tax rates will go up, January 1st, 2026. So we got these seven years uh, during which to take advantage of historically low tax rates. And people are really starting to resonate with this message. I, I guess I wonder, why are people so transfixed in the old way of doing things and, and knowing that, you know, taxes can be such a, a huge expense when people go into retirement. It's still a lot of people are out there, you know, uh, preaching the same old thing. It's the buy and pray model. It's you got to maximize everything going in your 401k and, and that's the way you got to save it. And why aren't more people embracing really some of these alternative strategies that, that truly provide them? significant savings and provide them a much better mousetrap to potentially save for retirement. Why, why is there such a problem with this? Well, you know, I do a lot of, a lot of workshops. I do about 80 workshops a country. So I'm all over the country. I, I frequently ask in rooms full of people, how many of you guys think tax rates in the future, even 10 years from now, are going to be dramatically higher than they are today? Nearly every hand in the room goes up. So people get it. They, they're seeing the handwriting on the wall. Then I ask them, how many of you have the lion's share of your assets, your retirement assets, in tax-deferred vehicles where you haven't paid the taxes yet? Every hand in the room goes up. So there's this massive disconnect. And the thing that I've concluded is that people um, are inherently reluctant to preemptively pay a tax to the IRS, uh, to prepay a tax to the IRS, if you will, um, because they want to procrastinate and kick the can down the road. But what we're started, sort of starting to make them aware of is that if you prepay the tax, you preemptively pay the tax at historically low tax rates, you can avoid having to pay that tax somewhere down the road when taxes are dramatically higher than they are today. People get the math, they, get the, the, they understand the fiscal path that we're on as a country, and they're finally starting to align their financial situation with how they view the, hist the, uh, the future of tax rates. The other thing I would ask is, is how do we go ahead then and also change this myth of, oh, life insurance, it's expensive. It's not the way you want to go. It's all about death benefit. And yet Index Universal Life can wear so many terrific hats. What do you think some of the, 
the, the challenges are in getting people to embrace it in, in, in a more, you, you know, you got Ramsey out there, you got Susie Orman, you've got all these people out there saying, oh, no, this is a terrible way to save and the expenses and everything else. And, and I think there's so much uh, misconceptions out there into truly how valuable this program can be. What's some of the ways that we can really pierce that envelope to show people that this truly is a great uh, piece for your portfolio and a way that you should be adding something like this in, in what you're doing because of the tax benefits and many of the things that you've touched on? Well, the, 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 the idea that an IUL is inherently ex expensive is a total misconception. Um, the fact is... The expenses in an IUL are a little bit higher in the early years, but they're much lower in the later years. And when you average out over the life of the program, it ends up being less than one and a half percent of your of the balance per year. If you go and dig into your really dig into your 401ks or IRAs, you'll find that in most cases, the expenses are at least that high, if not higher. But the question becomes with the IUL, if you are paying one and a half percent of your balance per year over the life of the program, what are you actually getting in exchange for that? Well, number one, you're getting a bucket of tax-free dollars that, that grows safely and productively, but you're also getting a death benefit that doubles as long-term care. Now, what I found is that a lot of people, as they approach retirement, house is paid off, kids have moved out, uh, retirement is close. They don't feel like they need life insurance. And I say, fine. And that's why a lot of companies that spon sponsor these programs say, hey, um, we're going to do something to sweeten the pot. We're going to say that in the event that somewhere down the road you should need long-term care, we're going to give you your death benefit while you're alive for the purpose of paying for it. Um, and what we found is that people aren't opposed to having long-term care insurance. They're just opposed to paying for it. Show them a way they can get the long-term care coverage without feeling like they're paying for it. And that's something that's very attractive. So you get tax-free growth. You get the upside of the market up to a cap, guaranteed to never lose money. Uh, it's tax-free, and you get a death benefit that also doubles as long-term care. That is a very, very attractive complement to all of the other tax-free strategies that they're using in their lives. As we, as we kind of wrap up, I'd really like to um, have you take a second, maybe plug some of the things that you've done in there, out there in the way of books or education or things that people can turn to to get a little bit more information, uh, learn a little bit more about what we're doing. Um, can you tell us about some of the books and some of the things that you have available? Yeah, really the, the flagship book I wrote back in 2013, 2014, um, it sold about 200,000 copies. Recently, the updated revised version was um, reprinted through Penguin Random House. Um, it was the number two most sold book in the world when it was released in September most old business book in the world. So that really makes the case for higher taxes and what you need to do to insulate yourself from higher taxes. I've got a follow-up book to that called Look Before You Lerp. I make the case that not all IULs are created equal. IULs are the way to go, but they're not all created equal. What should you be looking for? And then my most recent book is called uh, The Volatility Shield, where I talk about how life insurance can be used to help um, dramatically increase the uh, withdrawal rate from your other assets. Uh, and then a lot of people don't know this, but we actually created a movie called The Power of Zero, The Tax Train is Coming, where we barnstormed across the country, interviewed all of the major experts that know anything about the national debt and, and the uh, unfunded obligations of our country. And we asked them, where are tax rates going to be 10 years from now? And they're all looking at the same numbers and they're all singing the same song. They're saying 10 years from now, tax rates have to be dramatically higher than they are today or we go broke as a country. We interviewed politicians. We interviewed the governor of Utah. We interviewed Ed Slott. Uh, we interviewed um, the governor of Utah, uh, David Walker, former comptroller general of the federal government, and nearly every expert on every major college campus across the country. And they're all saying, look, we, can, this is, we are in the absolutely unsustainable path. Tax rates have to go up or we go broke as a country. Therefore, I think people are really starting to wake up to this idea that tax rates down the road are going to be dramatically higher than they are today. So I got to ask you one question. Are you nervous about there's a lot of money sitting in retirement accounts? Are you nervous that the government maybe does something to these retirement accounts in the way of additional taxes or things to potentially try to get its hands on some of this money? It's possible. You can always speculate about what will happen, but you sort of have to make decisions based on what you know the tax landscape is today. Uh, I do know this. Um, there's $22 trillion in the cumulative 
IRAs and 401ks of Americans across the country. We have $22 trillion of publicly stated debt. Uh, they could raise taxes on those accounts to 100% and pay the debt, debt off tomorrow. Uh, will they do that? Probably not. But the point is they have the ability to do so. So our whole point is why go into a business partnership with the IRS uh, where every year they get to vote on what percentage of your profits they get to keep. Divorce yourself from the IRS, start growing dollars tax-free, and get as close to the 0% tax bracket in retirement as you can. Why? Because if you're in the 0% tax bracket and tax rates, double, two times zero is still zero. Um, highlight the name of your, uh, your uh, premier book again. Yeah, so my, my, my premier book, the one that sold the 200,000 copies, um, is The Power of Zero, and that can be found on Amazon. Um, we're really excited about the fact that we have David. I'm going to get him into Phoenix a couple of times next year. He's very, very popular, and he's very booked up, but we're going to get him there. If you have any other questions, reach out to us at Bright Advisor. Uh, more importantly, I really appreciate your time, and we look forward to hearing your segment here in a little bit. Take care. Continued success. Thanks a lot for watching today. It really explains our mission of what we try to accomplish with our clients. Taxes are a real problem, and if you aren't doing things to take care of it in your portfolio, you could be really shortchanging yourself as far as what results you could ultimately achieve. We have a lot of events coming up. You can go to brightadvisor.com to see our calendar. More importantly, if you have questions or you want to reach out to us, feel free to do so. Again, this has been another episode of From the Desk of Pat Moran.